kan? Welcome to the Quarantine Games. I'm your host, Gwen Gray, and let's take a look at the teams of the North. So all I told the teams is to submit a short video explaining who they are, their strengths, their weaknesses, their team members, their rivals, and let me tell you, the North is a pretty stacked bracket, so let's take a look at the talent we have from the Kings of the North. We're going to start by looking at our number two seed, Big Wang Gang. They have been very aggressive in the comments, very aggressive getting their power rankings. Let's take a look. Don't even stress it. Here's our Oregon team that's going to win state, the Big Wang Gang. First off in the members, we have Jackie. Jack Sono, you're such a stud. Here we see that Jackie. <laughs> love to see that love and camaraderie between the teammates. That's very powerful stuff. Here we see that Jackie, <laughs> the Mormon man. His favorite protein is all protein. Special powers holding in those dookies during the long run. His height is six feet unless he stands on his money. And fun fact, Jackie has burn marks all over his body from his treadmill. Next we have Luke Anderson. What a beast. And may I mention, a man of such style. Luke Skywalker has his favorite protein, which is the flesh of his enemies. His special power is ninjutsu, height 5'11". And fun fact, Luke wants a pet monkey. Next up, we have Sakath. Look at the way the sun hits his skin. Sensational. Sakath, string one, has his favorite protein of sunlight and water. His special power is eight gates taijutsu. His height is 5'3", but 4'9", when he stands on his money. And fun fact, he has zero chance of becoming a captain. Sorry, Captain Kath. Next up, we have Shira, Sakat's younger brother. Look at that smile. Shira, string two, has his favorite protein of veggies. His special power is he can grow a beard in two weeks. Honestly jealous. His height's 5'6". Fun fact, 30% of Shira's weight is his hair. This is a forbidden image, but honestly, it's pretty accurate. I would say so, at least. Then there's Brenton. What an amazing picture. As you can see, Brenton Call, excuse me, Captain Brenton Call, has his favorite protein of roids. Oh my god, don't tell coach. Special powers, he's a captain. Height, 5'9", plus the hair. Fun fact, he's a captain. Okay, folks, this is probably the one you've all been waiting for. John Wang himself. Wow, just look at that. What a man. John Wang is known as Big Wang. That's where we get the team name from. The rest of the information is disclosed at this time. It may be revealed later in the season. But only if Big Wang says so. And then there's me. I'm the one who's been voicing over right now. But it's really not a big deal. My name is Daniel Voidick, but my nickname is Danny V. My favorite protein is the one with the most grams. Special powers I serve. Oh, and Genjutsu. Typically the manga kill. Height 5'10", and fun fact, I ate four pounds of steak last night just because my mom said I couldn't. <laughs> Proved her wrong. Alright, Big Wang Gang. Strengths. Photosynthesis, facial hair, and Big Wang himself. Also, I must say that Daniel is very talented in the comments, very good at getting in his opponent's heads. Especially Quinn Beckley. Big Wang Gang has been going head-to-head -head in the Northern Division comments section against Susan's Bagel Shop. A rivalry is forming. You can already tell these are two very aggressive teams, so let's take a look at Susan's Bagel Shop. Hi, I'm Patrick, captain of Susan's Bagel Shop. I'm Sam, member of Susan's Bagel Shop. We are from Sunset High School, which is in Portland, Oregon. Let's meet the team. I love how quaint this is. Also, Quinn, Quinn Beckley, he has also been a tiger in the comments section. Uh, mostly defending his honor from attacks from Daniel. Uh, he's committed. He's there. He's constantly, you know, constantly digging holes for himself. <laughs> constantly digging holes for himself. I'm 
must say, what an attractive team so far. <laughs> Our strength is that we are above average in speed. And our weakness is that we have no muscles. <laughs> our rivals are South Kitsap, so they're a bunch of snitches. <laughs> Quinn from Susan's Bagel Shop has DM'd in to say that their new rivals are officially Big Wang Gang. Those two are definitely going to make waves in this competition. Susan's Bagel Shop has been extremely aggressive, getting their power rankings, defending their honor. They are very hands-on, very committed to this competition. I'm excited to see what what they come up with also. That was a very tasteful video and among other things they have numbers, they have, it seems like they have organization, they have, they have speed. Yeah. There's another team from Sunset High School. Let's take a look. Hi, um, we're from Portland, Oregon and we go to Sunset High School. I'm a senior and I'm the captain of the team. My name is Ashwin. Uh, we have two other members, they're both sophomores, uh, Kushal Pai and Andy Fleischer. Our main weakness is we all have asthma, hence our team name, The Asthmatics. Our strength is that we're still distance runners despite the fact that we all have asthma. Resiliency, you love to see that, you love to see that in a team. And our rivals are anyone else from Sunset High School that is making a team um, for this event, and anyone in Washington in general. Alright, classic, very to the point. I like it, and also, asthma kids, they're the little dogs, they have something to prove. They're like, hey, look at you with your perfectly functioning lungs. We can be just as competitive as you, so they have nothing to lose, everything to prove. That's dangerous. A hungry underdog is dangerous. I'm excited to see what's in store for the asthmatics. Asthmatics, rivals, Susan's Bagel Shop, also from Sunset High School, and Washington. Lucky for them, there is a Washington team entered in the Northern Division, so they have their chance to properly assert their dominance. Let's see, so I had intended for Washington to have their own bracket doing the same challenges as us from my Washington High School runners. Doesn't seem like they've gotten any teams. I'm going to try to get on that, try to help them get some teams, just start late and so we can still have a border clash, but for now, we still have, they still have one team representing in the Northern Division from Washington. Let's check them out. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Curtis. I'm the team captain of the Kipchoge crew. We have three members, me, Logan, and Carter. Our strength as a whole would be being consistent in our training and being really fast. Along with no big deal. Being extremely super fast. With that, we do have some weaknesses. The coronavirus is one that's taken out our season and all that. Along with that, I have shin splints, and Carter has his pre-race nerves, and Logan has pre-race poop. And I believe that our rival as a whole would definitely be the state of Texas, the entire state of Texas. So, and we are from Tenasco. That's new. Bringing in Texas, that is bold, that's audacious, that's never been done before. Spicing it up. Hey Texans, Curtis from Washington just waged war on you. He thinks you're a bunch of dweebs. So, if you... So if you're watching this and that's not sitting well with you, DM Morgan High School Runners, enter in the newcomers meet. So. And we are from Tenasket, Washington, Tenasket High School. Come at us. Alright, you heard it. Curtis from Washington wants you to come at him. I respect that they're fearless enough to come in as the minority, especially with all the, the recent war and whatnot between our states, you know? That's a very big dog move. Very fearless. Alright, let's see our lowest seeded team, but what they lack in power rankings they definitely make up for in personality let's check out the footbuckers from west lynn hello my name is anthony i'm representing the footbuckers from west lynn high school in west lynn oregon we have six members on our team starting with me strengths include italian heritage showing up to all practices weaknesses include being a grumpy old italian man and getting lost on all the runs. Always. Next up we have Michael, whose advantages are being 6'6", six, six, so like that much taller than me, uh, and having the strength of five normal cross-country runners. 
His weaknesses include airplanes, since he does not fit, and his knee. Next up we- Tall boys with the painful knees. I absolutely feel that. We got Cole. Strengths include, he at one point had a really cool mullet, and he's pretty fast. Weaknesses include, he's a fake redneck, and he no longer has said cool mullet. Ah, oh, Cole, why'd you shave Next the up, mullet? Next we got Kogan, whose strengths include being at making bread and being the only member of our team that is not entirely white. Weaknesses include- Hogan sounds like a dangerous lad. Bread maker. No, kneading the dough, that, that builds shoulders. Uh, he's light enough that a strong gust of wind could probably blow him over. And unfortunately, he's a freshman. Next up we have Jaden. His strengths are he is also fast and really good at geometry dash. His weaknesses include his hair looks like a paintbrush, and he can't make it through a whole run without having to stop the poop. And finally, we've got Cooper. Strengths include you can see all of his ribs pretty easily, so you can count them and you know he has the right amount. And he's also pretty tall. Not as tall as Michael, but pretty tall. Uh, weaknesses include he played soccer, which is a big disadvantage because he knows soccer, and uh, he sweats too much. Like, way, way too much. So, as a team, overall, our strengths are, um, endurance, and, uh... So anyway, yeah, that's our strengths, and our weaknesses include, um, heavy objects, uh, socializing with people that aren't in cross-country, and pretty much everything else. What an immaculate roster from Westland. Strengths, Italian heritage, geometry, ribs, bread makers, what a dangerous group of men. Alright, we are to our final team from the north. Scapoose. Got twins. Yeah. Twins are dangerous. They can confuse their opponents, create diversions, never know what's happening. I saw these twins at state leading their team in a warm-up. Man, can they rally their team. Powerful couple of powerful couple of gingers. Okay, from Scapoose. Scapoose. Swagmeisters, let's get it going. Yo, 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 what is up, Oregon High School Runners? I'm Luke Sahoski, team captain of the Skafu Swagmeisters. Uh, yeah. The Skafu Swagmeisters represent Skafu's High School in Northwest Oregon. We're starting off on our members are Luke Sahoski, me, myself, my awesome. <laughs> My awesome twin brother, Rowan Sahoski. And the only man who can get a concussion at a cross country meet. The baddest man on the team, Gage Ekstrom. Next, we have the big headed beast, Griffin Barron. Routing off our awesome team, the swaggest team in Oregon, Talbot Treason. The, scap the fastest freshman on the Scaffy Talbot cross country team last year. Our strengths? Being swag, obviously. Our weaknesses? We don't have any weaknesses. We're of course, no one has any weaknesses. We're too swag to have a weakness. The weaknesses run away from us. Wow, the wealth of the North is overwhelming. Look at that. Look at that big belt. Big belt means big results. I'm excited to see what they do. Let's continue. And our rivals are people who say Scapoo strong. If you say Scapoo strong like Scapoose, like a Californian or a Portlander, Scapoose. At me. I'll see it. Scapoo Swagmeisters will deal with it. That's right. That's right. We're coming. Come to the top. Sorry, Luke. Shit, they're here. They're ready. Ready to absolutely rumble. Love the talent. So much phenomenal talent in the North. It's overwhelming. I know. How are you ever going to pick them? Pick among these godlike teams. How will any of them get knocked out? No clue. No clue. The North is a dangerous division of the state, you know? You know, they have to deal with winter storms the rest of us aren't used to. They have to constantly be battling off Washingtonians who are trying to cross the gorge. The North definitely produces champions, and our state champion might just be within its ranks. Alright, there are your Northern teams. Fill out your brackets. Let's see what the West has to offer.